Hi, I'm Carl Schwanke with Charlotte Mecklenburg Library, and I want to share a story with you. An old, old story about the great big turnip. Now, do you know what a turnip is? Well, if you don't, let me show you. It's a vegetable that grows under the ground. Kind of got green leaves on top, purple on top, white underneath. And depending on what part of the country you come from, sometimes you eat the part on top, eat the greens on top, or the white and purple part underneath. Both of them are mighty good eating. But let me tell you, before we go any further, I'm going to need your help with the story. Because some people try to pull that turnip up out of the ground. And when they do, they grab hold of the leaves and they pull and pull and pull. Can you do that with me? I need help. Come on, let's try it. We will pull and pull and pull. Hmm, were you pulling hard enough? Let's try it one more time. We pull and pull and pull. Very good. Okay, once upon a time, an old grandfather went out to the field with his hoe over his shoulder to plant a turnip seed. He took the hoe, he chopped up the ground, he planted that seed, he covered it up with dirt, pulled up all the weeds, made sure it had plenty of sunshine and water, and what do you think happened to that seed? Well, of course, it grew and grew and grew and grew and grew until it wasn't just any old ordinary turnip. It was a great, big, huge, honking, enormous turnip. And Grandfather looked at the thing and said, Hoo Look at the size of that turnip. Why, well, I bet you I could take it to the state fair and win first place. And so Grandfather grabbed one of those leaves and he pulled and pulled and pulled. But no matter how hard he pulled, he couldn't get that turnip up out of the ground. And he thought, what am I going to do? And he thought for a minute. And then he did what all smart men do in a case like that. He called for his wife. Of course, if he is a grandfather, then his wife is a, a grandmother, of course. So he called out to her. He said, oh, grandmother. Mother! Now, I, I don't think you said it loud enough. You gotta say it with me. You know, she's kind of old and hard of hearing. Let's try it again. Oh, grandmother! Oh, she heard that. And she said, Yes! He said, I can't get this great big turnip up out of the ground. She said, Oh, you're just old and weak, old man. Here, I'll come over there and help you out. And so, Grandmother ran over to Grandfather and Grandmother grabbed hold of Grandfather. Grandfather grabbed hold of that turnip and together they pulled and pulled and pulled. But guess what? It didn't come up out of the ground. And Grandma said, Oh, 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 what are we going to do? We can't get this great big turnip up out of the ground. So she thought for a minute, she said, I know what, I'll call our granddaughter. She's young and strong and she'll help us out. And so they all called out, call out with me. They said, oh, granddaughter. Uh-huh, and the granddaughter said, heard it and she said, They said, come over here and help us pull this great big turnip up out of the ground. And the granddaughter said, okay. And so granddaughter ran over to where they were and granddaughter grabbed hold of grandmother, grandmother grabbed hold of grandfather, grandfather grabbed hold of that turnip and together they pulled and pulled and pulled. But guess what? You're right, it still didn't come up out of the ground. And granddaughter said, oh, 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 what are we going to do? We can't get this turnip up out of the ground. So she thought for me, she said, I know what, I'll call our 
doggy. He's a good doggy. He'll help us out. And so they called out. Call out with me. They said, Oh, doggy. And doggy went, <laughs> Yes. They said, Come over here and help us pull this great big turnip up out of the ground. Doggy said, <laughs> Okay. And so, Doggy ran over to where they were, and Doggy grabbed hold of granddaughter, granddaughter grabbed hold of grandmother, grandmother grabbed hold of grandfather, grandfather grabbed hold of that turnip, and together they pulled and pulled and pulled. But guess what? You're right, it still didn't come up out of the ground. That doggy said, Ruff, 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 what are we going to do? We can't get this turnip up out of the ground. So Doggy thought for a minute and said, I know what, we'll call the kitty cat. She's a clever kitty cat. She'll help us out. And so they all called out. They said, oh, kitty cat. And the kitty cat went, Row. yes. They said, come over here and help us pull this great big turnip up out of the ground. Kitty cat went, Wah. okay. And so, kitty cat ran over to where they were, and kitty cat grabbed hold of doggy. Doggy grabbed hold of granddaughter. Granddaughter grabbed hold of grandmother. Grandmother grabbed hold of grandfather. Grandfather grabbed hold of that turnip, and together they pulled and pulled and pulled. Guess what? It still didn't come up out of the ground. And Kitty Cat went, We can't get this turnip up out of the ground. What are we going to do? Kitty Cat thought for a minute and said, I know what. We'll call the little field mouse. And so they all called out together. Call out with me. Oh, little field mouse. And the little field mouse went, squeak, 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 yes. They said, come over here and help us pull this great big turnip up out of the ground. And the little field mouse went, squeak, 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 okay. And so, little field mouse ran over to where they were and little field mouse grabbed hold of kitty cat. Kitty cat grabbed hold of doggy. Doggy grabbed hold of granddaughter. Granddaughter grabbed hold of grandmother. Grandmother grabbed hold of grandfather. And together they pulled and pulled and pulled. And they pulled one more time and come back. That turnip came up out of the ground. Of course, it knocked over grandfather, grandmother, granddaughter, and all the rest. And when they all got back up, grandma said, Oh, grandfather, look at the size of that turnip. Why, you can't take that thing to the state fair. I tell you what, I'll cook us up a great big batch of turnip soup and a mess of turnip greens and cornbread. And that's just what they did. And that's the story of the great big turnip.